Tonight, police have released new details about a fight at a bar that injured an EKU football player. Richmond police say the fight over the weekend involved football players from two different teams. Sean Moody has the latest on this investigation. Richmond police have been back out here at Jersey's today. They tell us there was an incident between football players from two different colleges early Sunday morning. They won't identify any of the people involved, but Jeff Scurry told the Lexington Herald leader that his son, EKU offensive lineman Colton Scurry, was badly hurt. According to a news release, Scurry told police three or four men grabbed him and began hitting him in the head. He said he lost consciousness, and after it was over, he said two women helped him walk back to EKU. Police said he had cuts, a broken nose, and other broken bones in his face. The best word to use is ridiculous. Students at EKU said they were troubled by what police say had happened. To like not be able to solve your issues in any other way besides a bar fight is kind of just not, it's not appropriate, honestly. EKU officials tell us they're looking into a second report of an assault here at Telford Hall shortly after the other incident. They say it might be related to what happened at Jersey's. A couple of hours after the first incident, there was a report of an assault at Telford Hall, a dorm on EKU's campus. EKU officials aren't saying who was involved there or exactly what happened. Again, Richmond police said the Jersey's case involves football players from two colleges. They've not said what school the other people are from. There have been all kinds of reports across the internet, but police will not confirm those reports, and no one has been charged with the crime. As soon as there's a credible update to this story, we'll let you know. In Richmond, Sean Moody, WKYT. And police tell us they're still working to interview witnesses.